This is home. That's something we like to say around here, and we really mean it. But for Terry McFadden, South Bend has always been home. Community involvement is part of what anchors do, appearing at events and lending a helping hand. But for Terry, it's personal. I got to talk to some area legends about what Terry means to Michiana. Digger, welcome to the countdown. Can't wait to get started. All right. Digger Phelps has known Terry McFadden for over 52 years. The former ND basketball coach moved in across the street from Terry's folks in 1971. Terry was just a kid. That's how it all started with my relationship. I think then he was 10, maybe 12 at the most. And now we see uh, he's ready for retirement. Digger says for the McFadden family, community service is expected and Terry started early. But nothing, nothing would keep me from being here. Well, he always believed in the community. You know, his dad was a war veteran and I think that stuck in him as a kid growing up. And uh, I'll never forget, his dad was in the Marines and uh, every Veterans Day, uh, Vic would come out and put up the flag in the front yard and the whole neighborhood would show up and we'd celebrate. Thank you, Michiana, for giving so generously to Toys for Tots. With your help, thousands of area children will have a brighter holiday. Hoorah! And every December, the Marines show up to WNDU. Santa, thanks for coming to us. I'm going to hand this back to Terry. And here's the money shot. Go! <laughs> It's worth it. It's a great cause. It is worth it. We love being out here every year. We all have a dog in this fight, so to speak. You know, I was fortunate to participate in Toys for Tots, and I'd pull up in the WNDU driveway, and there'd be Terry with the Marines. Former Senator and current Ambassador Joe Donnelly grew up in South Bend, too. Well, sure, I've known the McFadden family for a long time. I played, I played baseball, in fact, with um, Terry's brother. You know, he's been a cornerstone of South Bend. We've, we've seen our city the Michiana area um, grow together as, uh, as we lived here. And looking out for one another is what makes Michiana great. Helping out with the, the toy drive for children at every Christmas, the backpack program that WNDU has had. Here we are, toys and horsepower, you can't beat it. Whenever something was going on in town, Terry was there to help make it better. And he's always been there for his parish, St. Joe Hockey, and Holy Cross College, and for organizations like Real Services and their Age of Excellence Luncheon. Every year we've had it, Terry has hosted it, and he takes those responsibilities seriously. Carla Fales leads the agency known for helping area seniors and those underserved. And then he's also done our real big raffle every year. He does the final drawing, and so that's always exciting. You know, the other part, too, is he doesn't hog the spotlight. He's there to support the people that are doing the work, and I, I appreciate that about him, too. And he's a real pro. Well, most of the time. I was told we give Terry a script, and he generally sticks to it. <laughs> generally so part of what you see in that is you see people value their commitment to the community and knowing that they made a choice to be here a choice to stay even after retirement Terry as an organization that works with older adults we tell you you don't retire you refire so I'm looking to see what it is that you do as you refire and recommit yourself to new things and just congratulations on a long career and it says something about you and your character that you're still here you're still kicking and you're still looking at other ways to be involved and, and you can see the results that um, you, what everybody's mission is in life it seems or, or what, what the mission uh, is tried to be is how do I leave something in better shape than I found it and Terry has certainly done that in our community Mac you're going to be missed by all of us in this Michiana area with WNDU. But now, with what you've done in your life, you're ready for the next step, Grandpa. And I think that's going to be exciting for you and Lori to extend your family now and become grandparents and endure that part of your life. Take care and God bless. Oh, now, those were just some of the public things that Terry has been involved with for the past 30 years, but you can bet there are plenty of other acts of service that you and I will never know. 
something that kid learned a long time ago on Piashway Street in South Bend. Terry, it's an honor to sit on this desk with you tonight. Well, and I feel badly. You're usually getting ready for bed about this time, <laughs> uh, Tricia, but uh, uh, I'm so happy that, that you agreed to to tell my story because you're, hey, let's, in this business, you're one of the heavy hitters in this market. Oh, please. And to have, and, and you're, you're, you're a dear friend, and it means a lot that you would, you would come in and do this. And as always, spectacular job. <laughs> and you talk to the right person, Digger Phelps. You uh, had to talk to Digger. Yeah. You know, and uh, when I'm sitting at home like all of you are, and you make Terry cry, it's always a mm. little badge of honor. Mm -hmm. But to see you cry in person, <laughs> So I'm crying just these tears with not you. Not a lot, just but, a little bit. You know, what was it looking at all those people? And, and I'm sitting here with you, and we, we realize we've lost a lot of friends in this community. Yeah. These are people that made a difference here, and we got to walk in their shoes and walk alongside them in these special moments. You think about Father Ted and, and, and Joe Kernan and people like that. And Era Parsegian was there. Era Parsegian. Yeah. You know what a thrill it was for I me mean, to be able to uh, stand on the dais with him and. <sighs> And, and chat with him. It was just, it was just incredible. Well, and I think of our team members, and you know, it, it, Mo is probably watching, mm -hmm. and she's got a special story coming up this week as well. But uh, Jeff Jeffers. Yeah. I mean, we, we've lost some dear friends here in this business, but I know our friendship will remain. And um, it was an honor to tell your story of community involvement. So you're going to stay involved, and I know you will. Thank you, pal. Love right. you. Six o'clock news is next.